and they can either paint it or draw it or write it down, right? And then pass it on to somebody. They read what you're saying, and then they are re-experienced, and that's the only connection you have with that man. So you can't rewrite. Because to rewrite is to deceive and lie, and you betray your own thoughts. To rethink the flow and the rhythm and the tumbling out of the words is a betrayal. It's a sin, Martin. It's a sin. I don't accept your uh, Catholic interpretation of my compulsive uh, necessity to rewrite every single word at least a hundred times. Guilt is, thanks, guilt is the key, not sin. Guilt re not writing the best that I can. Guilt re not uh, considering everything from every possible angle, balancing everything. Well, how about guilt re censoring your best thoughts, your most honest, primitive, real thoughts? Because that's what your laborious rewriting amounts to, Martin. Is rewriting really censorship, Bill? Because I'm completely fucked if it is. Exterminate all rational thought. That is the conclusion I have come to. What is the man talking about? I'm being serious. So is he. So how is the extermination business going there, Bill? Somebody's stealing my roach powder. Somebody's got it in for me. Oh. Well, Bill, maybe you should take it as a sign. Maybe I'll try your hand at writing pornography. Yeah, a novel a week at 120 bucks. It's serious money. I can connect you with the guy. We're thinking of collaborating on one ourselves. I gave up writing when I was 10. Too dangerous. Only if someone reads what you write. So far, we haven't had that problem. I found my profession. I'm an exterminator. Of course, Bill, that's just what the world needs. More literate exterminators. Yes, sir. Yeah. Of course, then, you know, you're going to have trouble if you can't keep track of your roach powder. <laughs> Wait a minute, you boys know something about this? <laughs> we don't exactly know anything. No, but we suspect it's a domestic problem. <laughs>